good morning. I'm just in the garden again. And this is my potato tower. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few potatoes in it. This is just an old uh, feed bag that I use and it filled up with dirt. And I didn't put any rocks in the bottom of it or anything like that because I'm, I'm monitoring my um, water intake. It's not an open barrel. Uh, you definitely want to have some type of, um, uh, not ventilation, but uh, water leakage out of the bottom if you uh, have an open barrel uh, kind of um, uh, potato tower. So I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine to ten potatoes in here, potato plants. Um, I just waited for them to sprout eyes with these little sticks on them and then I, uh, I planted them, put a little bit more dirt on top and then uh, put some more potatoes on top of them and then more dirt and they're starting to sprout. Let me see. Uh, on the back one you have, um, here I'll show you. On the back one over here you have uh, some little, right there, some little, um, goodness what's it called, leaves. Sorry, I just finished my morning chores this morning. This is about three, I'd say about three weeks. This is what the potato tower looks now. As you can see, I have potatoes growing out the top. I have potatoes growing out the bottoms. Uh, we have more potatoes growing actually out of the back as well. Um, but as you might have seen in the previous video, the, uh, the last time we saw this potato tower, it was much smaller. So now I filled it and I've kept on filling it up with dirt. So because you do that, you increase the um, you increase the uh, the root structure of the plant. You're forcing it to have a, a lot more roots than top because you keep on putting soil and soil and soil on top, but. I wouldn't say to stretch them too much. I'd say just maybe stretch them about a foot, a foot and a half or so of soil gradually over, um, you know, over the time it takes for them to grow. And uh, in turn, the potato plants will generate more potatoes. So that's exactly what we want. And also water it thoroughly because you want uh, the saturation to go to the very bottom, but you also don't want to drown your plant. So make sure you have proper drainage and uh, that's about it and if you guys uh, have your own potato towers feel free to send me uh, pictures of what they look like and uh, thank you so much have a great